Hi, I'm Tanavi for Finisma.com and we are here in New Jersey for a snowed out Heroes and Villains Fan Fest. But I'm very happy to say we've managed to track down Lord Messer and, and um, it's really, really great to meet you, the man behind all those amazing drawings. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, appreciate it. Of course. And so you've been meeting loads of fans today who love your work and drawing for them, which is great. Yes. So what's it like to meet all the fans? Oh, it's always awesome to meet everyone that uh, uh, that comes, that uh, sees all my stuff online. Mm -hmm. um, most of the time it's very a solitary experience because I draw and then I post it and then what's great is I see everything on social media but what's always great about going to these shows is uh, being able to see face to face, meet people, uh, meet people like I only know through screen names so so it's always a, a wonderful experience and I always come away from a show looking to do another one as soon as possible. And so you're here for Heroes and Villains Fan Fest, how did you get involved with them? Uh, actually, Stephen, uh, it, it occurred around the time that he was doing a lot of the SummerSlam uh, events. Uh, he reached out and he asked if I could do some artwork for some of his social media, and he also extended an invitation to participate in the first uh, Heroes and Villains in San Jose. And when Stephen asks you, I'm sure, when Stephen asks you to do something, uh, there isn't even a, a period of uh, consideration. It was just, yes, yes. <laughs> so, uh, so that's really how it started. He, he extended an invitation, and I, I happily uh, uh, agreed. Brilliant. And one thing is, obviously, when you're drawing, we see your drawings, but we don't get to know you. So please tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got into doing this. Oh. Uh, drawing wise, uh, I always loved to draw when I was uh, a young child. Uh, it was my way. I was uh, I was raised off of uh, Saturday morning cartoons and toys, and and I loved the illustrations that were on the packages. I loved watching cartoons, so drawing was just an extension of that. It was a way of of me being able to still enjoy everything without having to be in front of a TV or, or have anything that was provided to me. I could just have a blank sketchbook and and draw everything that I wanted to draw, and then. After that, it just I just kept going with it. I never even thought of becoming an artist, really. It was just something that I loved to do. And then, I guess, really, when college rolled around, I had to decide on a career. Illustration was the only way to go. So, mm -hmm. so then that's pretty much how that kind of led me to here. And you've ended up here. So um, one of the things I'm wondering is, obviously, there's so many shows out there and so many cartoons. So what influences you and what is your sort of favorite show, really? Uh, I will always gravitate first and foremost towards the superheroes and the comic books. Those are really my jam. So uh, <laughs> I always uh, look towards that stuff, and, and especially now because with with the way visual effects are and the way the writers, how sophisticated the writing is now, and it's it's really at a we're really in a golden age right now of, of all of these things coming together and providing with some really entertaining and and. Uh, uh, so intriguing, like um, stories and storylines. So, so I'll always do the comic. So, so Arrow was always, you know, uh, interested me. And then Flash spun off of that. And now Legends of Tomorrow. And then you've got all the Marvel stuff. It's just, it's kind of hard, really, to to not watch something. So. Mm -hmm. And so what do you think of Aaron, Arrow Season 4 so far? Oh, great. I love the humor that they've really been able to interject, especially last season was so, oh my gosh, it was so heavy. And, and a lot of the drawings that I do, I always try to do some kind of humor aspect to it. And there were times after I would watch an episode where I was, I got to watch this like five more times because I don't <laughs> know oh, what's funny. Mm. And so when you're um, doing the drawings, you're also doing captions. Yes. So how do you come up with those? You know, the very first one I did was it was uh, the the bitch with Wi-Fi, and I, I mean I know it's it's I, there are some people that see it that don't watch the show, so when they see that artwork, they're like, oh my gosh, they're offended. But but I'm like, it's it's a uh, it's out of the show, you know, it's not my words, and and so what I realized from there is that the fans from the show that watch it, they they loved it, they love the humor about it, they love you know how I actually even incorporated some of the Marvel characters in there. Mm -hmm. So so that's when I kind of saw, oh, you know, it it actually adds to the illustration when I add a little text to it and a little you know humor into that so so that's how that started okay great and so when you're doing the drawings here and the, at the conventions what are the ones that you find you're getting asked most to do 
Uh, well, for today, I, I find that it was a good mix of dif different things. It was a lot of um, Oliver, a lot, a lot of Steven, some Tommies, which mm -hmm. you know, uh, that's that's going way back to season one. Yeah. Um, and then some outside ones, uh, some Gotham characters and some, uh, you know, other other DC and Marvel stuff. So it's been a pretty good mix. Like, what's nice about these events is that they bring in people who are fans of not only the shows, but like of other of other properties that, you know, might not, you know, be overlooked when we were, we were at a show like this. Mm -hmm. And are you surprised by the not only the fan reaction, but also the reaction from the Arrow team and the Flash production team to oh. your work? Oh, yes. I'm always flattered and humbled by the fact that it actually even comes across their radar. You know, I, I put this stuff out just because I'm sharing with, with the other fans. And when, when I see that they respond or that they comment, I'm like, oh, my God. I've, I go to my wife and I'm like, look, look, he responded or they shared it or they retweeted it. I'm, I'm just as amazed and flattered and as a fan as anyone else when that happens. And you do so much drawing. I mean, do you ever get sort of hand cramp? I mean, you're multitasking away as uh, well. <laughs> not now, not now, but maybe, who knows, a few years down the line, I might have some uh, side effects, but right now I'm still good. <laughs> well, lastly, I have to ask you, I'm wondering, everyone's wondering, Who's in the box in season four? Oh gosh, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, I think it might be Lila, but um, it's only because I don't want, I don't want Diggle to go anywhere. Yeah. But like, I feel like it might be someone in, in that, in the Diggle maybe family that might be affected by that. Maybe. So. I guess we'll have to see. Yes. Well, thank you for talking to us and enjoy the rest of Heroes and Villains Fan Fest, and good luck with the rest of the career. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.